Hello Laker Nation, my name is Edwin Garcia and welcome back to Lakers Takes. Today I'm continuing my 5 part series where I'm reviewing every player's 2020 season that's still on the roster. Today we're going through tier A. Before we do that, I need you to do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel. Lakers Takes is just getting started and your help is needed and much appreciated. Alright, let's get into tier A. First player up, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is a superstar. He proved it at every opportunity. He demonstrated it versus the Trailblazers after a lackluster game one. He dominated the small ball Rockets and obliterated them in five games. And he hit game winning shots versus the Nuggets and handled himself well versus the only even matchup he had in the bubble against the Joker. And in the finals, only LeBron and Jimmy Butler could argue they had a better finals appearance. When the stakes got higher, Anthony Davis rose to the challenge and shined, bringing the Lakers back to glory, winning his first title, and securing banner number 17 for the LA Lakers. AD has accomplished everything Lakers Nation was asking of him. He's been dominant, a superstar, and won a championship. Right now it's just a waiting game on when he'll re-sign with the Lakers. It's clear AD wants to be a Laker, the Lakers want him to be a Laker, just waiting on him to sign. We should get a decision soon, but you never know with these things. I'm hoping for a long-term deal, but I understand taking a short-term deal and trying to get paid even more down the road. Either way, I support AD's decision and I'm glad he's a Laker. What can be said about LeBron James that hasn't already been said? We've been hearing everything about him since his junior year in high school. We know he's the self-proclaimed king, the arguable GOAT, and the number one player in the NBA for the longest stretch of time. Today. We're unpacking what his historic year 17 championship run was like, how he played, and what to expect next. LeBron James was phenomenal. From start to finish, he was undeniably the best player on the court for the Lakers. Unlike his first year with the Lakers, in 2020, LeBron played both sides of the court at all times. He was a dominant offensive and defensive force in every game he played in. His role this season was essentially being the point guard of the team. He brought the ball up initiated the offense the majority of the time, especially in the bubble when Avery Bradley was unavailable. His numbers did take a dip, but only marginally. The most shocking stat for me was his assist total. The fact he led the entire NBA with 10.2 assists per game in his 17th season when he's not a traditional point guard is a testament to his greatness, his longevity, and his ability to play any position on the floor. In the bubble, LeBron made it clear why he isn't compared to his current NBA opponents, but to the legends of the game. He raised his stats in points, rebounds, and steals. The only dip he had was in assists, which went down from 10.2 to 8.8 .8 per game. In the NBA Finals, he continued his dominant play. He led the Lakers in minutes, points, rebounds, and assists, earning him his fourth NBA title and fourth NBA Finals MVP. Overall. I'm not too worried about LeBron James going into the 2020-2021 season. As long as he's healthy come playoff time, I expect the same level of excellence he's shown in 2020. So let's hope Father Time can hit the snooze button for another year and we can get that same LeBron James we got in 2020 in 2021. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed watching, please subscribe and hit that like button. Also, comment below and let me know what you'd like to see from me next. It was a huge challenge and an honor to look back at every player's 2020 season. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to cover this team for the 2020-2021 NBA season. So until next time, have a good rest of your day and go Lakers!